Did you know that 88% of video editors need graphics for their videos and they don't know After Effects? That's not a real statistic. And this graphic was made in Premiere Pro using Mogerts. I'm gonna show you how to do it. All right, so we're going to start on the Vidiva website and we're going to go up here to templates and Mogerts work both in Premiere Pro and After Effects. Now they don't exactly do the same thing because some things that you can do in After Effects you can't do in Premiere. And since we're catering towards video editors for this one, we're going to open with Premiere Pro templates. Now the templates you'll find here are a mix of project files and Mogerts. What we're looking for in this case is the little Mogert icon and the little PR represents that these are project files for Premiere Pro. So we're going to look for infographics and we're going to find the one that looks good for our video. This one looks like it's going to be perfect. So let's check this one out. Minimal infographics and we'll go ahead and download it. All right, next we want to open up our Premiere Pro. Now we need to have the essential graphics panel up and if you can't see that you need to go to window essential graphics and make sure that's turned on. In our essential graphics panel, we're going to install the Mogert file. Now you don't want to drag these into your project file if they're not installed. You need to click this little button here and then navigate to the folder and look for this motion graphics template file and then go ahead and double click. And so now the Mogert has been added to our essential graphics panel. You can click on it and just drag it into your project. And now we have our graphic added. Just click on the graphic to open the edit tab and in here you'll find all the different settings for the various built-in graphics inside of this template. By default the text is set to black and you need a white background to view it. So what we can do is just raise this up. We're going to go to new item. We're going to make a color mat. We'll make it white for this. Okay. And we'll bring that in as our background. And then all of the data that you see in here are controlled by the sliders inside of the Essential Graphics panel. If I scroll down to Infographic 3, that's the one that is checkmark on, and that's the graphic that's visible. 68% on the slider is what's set here, so if we want to increase this to the 88 we showed in the preview, that's all you have to do. You can adjust this, and it'll take care of all the animation for you. Changing the text is as simple as going to the text box and putting in whatever info you want here. And click out to update. And then you can also change the color. So we have this gray color here for the outside of the circle, and we have this orange color set here, and then the text color. You also don't have to use a white background. You can place these infographics on top of video footage. You can use gradients or anything you want in the background. And then you just come in here to set your settings. And instead of orange, we can make this Let's make it a bright purple. And maybe our gray, we want it to be a little bit darker. And there we go. And that'll take care of the whole animation. So if now if I play through real quick, you'll see all the animations handled. And all I did was control a slider and a few settings. So I'm just going to hold Alt. We'll duplicate this. And now, since I don't want to use this circle, we're going to, we're going to turn off Infographic 3. And then if you want, you could just go through and check each of these for the look you're looking for. Now let's go grab one more template from the website. And we've got these little geometric titles. So this is like a pop-up uh, where you need to point to something. So let's go ahead and grab those. Download. We'll need to extract the file. Go ahead and extract. And then the Mogert is actually here in this other compressed folder, so we'll extract that one as well. Extract. So our Mogerts are here in this folder, and now we have callouts. There's 10 different callouts in this pack, so we'll need to install these in Premiere Pro. Okay, so we have our 10 Mogerts here, and instead of clicking these and installing them one by one, and you can also drag and drop them but the problem is, same thing, you can only drag them in one at a time, and I don't want to have to keep doing that. If you have a dedicated folder, you can actually just install a folder in here as a reference folder, and then put all of your Mogerts in one easy-to-find place. In this case, we're just going to make it the download folder. So I'm going to go 
up here to essential graphics and click this little icon hamburger menu we're going to go to manage additional folders and in here we're just going to go to the add button i'm going to navigate to the folder we just got so if i go to my downloads we have our geometric titles and we have the mogers folder here so i'm going to select that one select folder hit ok and so now if i go to my local library that Mogert folder we just added is right here. I'm gonna click on that. Oh, I have my favorites still turned on. Turn off favorites, and there are our 10 Mogerts that we just downloaded. That's the easiest way to batch add Mogerts. So let's just grab this first call out and let's preview that. So we have um, a little button here and we have all of our data inside of the box. Let's go to our edit folder to open up our edit and we're going to have all of our settings here so text position and colors are in this drop down and our global position and scale is here scale is going to adjust the overall size of everything so i can raise and lower this and then i can also just move it left and right up and down so let's bring that down a little bit and then let's go to our text position and same thing we're just going to play with some sliders and adjust the text so here we'll put part number 007 and then this is our little header title up at the top and here we could put nothing if we want to we'll just delete it now we can change the colors uh, let's say again we are a purple company we're gonna go with purple so let's do okay here and we'll just grab our eyedropper and we'll grab purple and we'll grab this eyedropper and we'll grab purple again and then the text, let's say I want to adjust this uh, positioning a little bit. We'll go to the text, our part number. Let's actually bring the position down. And we want to increase the font size a little bit. So let's go and bring this up. Um, let's just grab a random image I happen to have. Bring this one in. We're going to scale to frame. It's a little too small. Let's bring that up a little bit more. And well, you know what? In this case, let's just say we'll we'll name the game he's playing. So we want to adjust the position of this. So we're going to go here. We're going to go into global position and scale. So we'll make this a little bit smaller. And let's say I want the circle to be like maybe here where there's less of a point of interest. So I'm just going to bring that down on the Y over on the X, maybe back up just a little bit. And there you go, now it's fully animated. So if I just go back, oops, hit play on that, part number seven, bam. Animation done, render that out. You just created graphics and we did all of that in record time. Hope you found Mogur super helpful. Go find the ones on Vidivo, play with them, and save yourself a lot of time. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!